Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form or click hire us and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What I'm going to show you today is a script that's maintained by a Ubiquity em employee who used to just be a community member, but uh, his name is Glenn. I can't take uh, any credit for this, but I want to show you this script because it allows you to install Unify uh, on the latest and greatest Ubuntu or Debian uh, installation. So now you don't have to worry about it. And it takes care of everything for you, all the prerequisites, everything. And at the end, you have a running server uh, and it is so easy to maintain. So uh, he even has scripts that will do the uh, SSL installation for you via Let's Encrypt. So you can also take a look at that. So let's take a look at it. All right, so once again, I cannot take credit for this script is actually a guy named Glenn who created this. He actually works for Ubiquity. So you'll see him under the UI Glenn, but then he also maintains his other username, which is amazed mender 16. And he started this series of scripts. Uh, and this is really, it's a easy unify install and it works on Ubuntu 16, 18, um, 19, 20, 21, and now he even has it working on the 22.04. He also has it working on Debian 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And what this is going to do is this is going to take care of all of the heavy lifting. It will even ask you if you want to install an SSL certificate, and it will set up Let's Encrypt. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, you really don't need you know, to, to pay to have somebody, you know, manage your, your Unify server if you're doing this. And the reason that I named this, so I have a 20, uh, a 20 20.04 server is what this Ubuntu server is. And I called it fast AF Unify and you're going to see why. So we're going to scroll down. You can see he's got instructions um, right here on how to run it. Now this is for 6.5.55. Well, uh, what we want to do is we want to go down because we want to install the latest seven. So he actually has it right here, 7.0.23, right? So we're going to do a couple of things before we do, before we do that, we're going to come up here and we're going to, um, look at the instructions. So we're SSH in, SSH in, and we are going to do uh, sudo hyphen I which is going to make us root. And then we're simply going to copy and paste this script. So this is making sure that we have the uh, CA certificates and uh, let's see. And I think uh, W get. Yeah. And then the other thing, since this is a virtual machine, so this will work whether it's a virtual machine, um, whether it's a physical machine, whether it's a digital ocean droplet, whether it's on AWS, whether it's on blah, 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 name a Linux hosting service, this will work. But the one thing that I need to do is apt install have, have gets because it's virtual. So we need to make sure our entropy is working correctly here. So now what we're going to do while that's doing that is we are going to do a W get, we're going to go down here and we're going to get the script for seven. So we're going to right click this. We're going to do a copy link. We're going to scroll back up here just to see, make sure we're not doing anything uh, crazy here. You can also upgrade this and there's also install the latest and greatest unified network application with one line. So you could just copy and paste this as well, uh, and do this. We're going to manually do it. This would actually be faster, but, uh, if you're not, you know, if your Linux skills are not uh, where you want them to be practicing, this probably is not going to hurt. So we're going to do a W get, we've got the script and now we are going to run it. And here is the easy Unify network application install script. And thank you for using. So what it's going to do is it does an apt update um, to make sure that everything is up to date. Now you can see that it is um, installing all the different tools that it needs. So this is um, net hyphen tools. 
Now it's app transport HTTPS. So you're going to see this, but it is doing all of this for you. You are literally going to be hands off at this point. So it's also going to um, install. Um, it's going to install, um, you know, Mongo and Java and all those things on the latest version of Ubuntu or Debian. And do you want to keep the script on your system after completion? We'll just say yes to that. All right, checking if we're up to date. We're up to date. Uh, no packages need to be um, updated. Do you want to continue updating? We'll say yes. Nothing needs to be upgraded. We're on the latest distribution, so there's no distribution that needs to be upgraded. This package will allow you to do that. So you can see how easy this is making it. Here it is. It's doing the Mongo right now. Mongo uh, 3.6. It's installing it. Uh, this, this, you know, Glenn has done a, a really good job of providing this service. Um, in fact, you know, bookmark this. I'll leave the link down below. I mean, he even has scripts and tells you how to update, right? So you install 7.0.23 now, but 7.1 comes out. He's going to have a script here that tells you how to, to upgrade it. So you don't have to start from scratch. You don't have to guess. It's, it's fantastic. So I ran across this the other day. I've, I've kind of known about it, but I used it for the first time the other day, recovering a compromised server. Um, and uh, it just made our lives that much more easy. Now, we also have a bunch of people who are running Ubuntu 16.04, and that's going to need to be upgraded. So my suggestion to those of you who are on 16.04 is to take a backup of your server and then, um, you know, blow the 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 uh, droplet out or do a dist upgrade or whatever. I would probably take a backup, grab your key store. If you've got an SSL certificate, I would blow away the droplet, the image, whatever. I would then uh, reinstall the latest Ubuntu or Debian image and then use this script to install and restore your backup, put your key store back in. If your IP changed, then go ahead and uh, update your DNS records. So, but this really takes a lot of the, the guesswork out of it. We don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the different repositories and all those things. And you can see it just keeps chugging and lugging along, right? So there's uh, Java uh, 8. Here's our CA certificates. Now, uh, if this looks like it's running a little slow, this VM that this is in does only have 2 gigs of RAM. So if your virtual machine has more RAM, it's probably going to be a little bit more snappy than this. So, um, I, I'm absolutely fascinated by this tool and, uh, I am going to, uh, figure out how to send, uh, Glenn some coffee or some, uh, adult beverage, uh, donations. All right. So now you can see we are installing the unified network application 7.0.23. The latest and greatest that is available with this script. And we successfully installed the Unify network application onto the next step of the script. Here in a second, it's going to ask us if we want to do that SSL. Um, Oh, here, here's a good question for you. Would you like to update the Unify network application via apt? So if you want to be able to just do an apt update, um, you could do that here. I usually suggest that, uh, whatever installation method you begin with, you stick with. So as long as Glenn is going to maintain this, um, I would just personally run his update script. So if, uh, for me, I'm going to say no. And the reason that I am going to say no here is because I have seen the Ubiquity apt update uh, let the system update Java and Mongo and break uh, production systems. So 
All right, so uh, Unify is now active and running. This is it. So I can go to this URL. In fact, let's check this out. All right, and here you can see it is. And uh, we can restore from backup or we can walk through this uh, setup and and do all the things. So uh, Glenn has some other scripts available. He's got uh, SSL installation scripts for all of the Ubiquity uh, platforms, the Unify platform. So network, uh, video, protect, LED, Unify, uh, OS, uh, Cloud Key, Applicate. So you can, he's got a lot of scripts. So let, we should be thanking Glenn uh, for this and uh yeah give it a shot and you'll see how easy it is and uh, then you don't have to worry about you know all of the the bits and bobs about making it run he's taking care of all that heavy lifting for us all right and that is it if you like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and share please follow me on twitter instagram and tiktok those links are down below if you need it consulting go to willyhow.com Fill out that contact form or click hire us and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or using our clearly marked Amazon affiliate links, that's all down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.